Okay, I'm here today with uh, Mark Higgins and Xavier Calbet from Umitsat, and they're going to be talking about the European weather video for November. Okay, the end of October saw us really shifting into wintry conditions in Europe, and you can start to see this now. Um, in this particular set of images, the blue is ice. On the ground, of course, that's snow, and uh, in clouds, that's going to be ice clouds. So you're going to see a lot more blue in these images than maybe you have done earlier on in the year. Right at the start of the month, we saw some wintry showers coming into Ireland. You can see those clouds coming in from the north. They're separated, convective storm clouds. So from below, that would have looked like wintry storms coming into Ireland. In the rest of the continent, you, you can see a nice high-pressure system with fog. These are the white clouds that don't move. And also over the Alps, you can see the snow in purplish color. Yeah, we have that cold air um, and that frontal system getting close to Ireland, which will cause intense rain in Ireland and the UK in the next days. That little bump you just saw in there in the image was actually a spacecraft manoeuvre. So these are done every so often to keep the spacecraft in its operational orbit and well placed. They're very well timed and very well managed and done at specific times. But just occasionally you'll see little jumps in the uh, image like that. And then you have the low pressure systems coming in from the west, from the Atlantic, into the British islands and into the northern countries and the southern countries are not so much affected by them but partly also affected by the cold spells coming from the north and causing thunder showers and snow and bad weather in general. At this particular time, we'll start to see a build-up in northern Italy, and this was quite a significant uh, severe winter storm that will come up. So just overnight on the 11th, coming into the 12th, just in northern Italy, we see a, a build-up of cloud, which um, signified, there you go, some very intense rainfall, which led to some very severe flooding in northern Italy. This is a very standard winter for Europe. So you see these periods of settled weather, periods of quite unsettled weather. Um, so it's a good challenge for forecasters. And over Denmark and Germany, there's not so much weather. So you're seeing quite stationary clouds and the deepening of the cold temperatures associated with um, less cloud cover and the, the airflow from the north. And now we will see the low pressure system of the coast of Portugal forming and that will cause severe weather in the south of Portugal and they even had tornadoes and severe thunderstorms. There it is, there's nicely the low pressure system showing very well with the convection. So in looking back into Central Europe you can see the pretty stationary cloud now. So you'll see lots of low cloud, lots of fog, difficult aviation conditions, difficult traffic conditions with this kind of situation. Air quality in a lot of places also gets quite poor with the, the very stationary air. Quite a challenge for forecasters to work out when is this going to break down. So that cloud you may have just seen over the Atlantic will become a lot more organised over this particular night and you can start to see a much more defined front now coming in over Ireland and the west of England. This particular system brought a lot of rain to the south of England. Yeah, we can see the cold air coming in from the west of Ireland 
blowing toward the east and we can see now how the clear flotten system is forming and it will quickly develop into a, a low pressure system which caused extreme flooding in the UK. Where the air is coming from has a huge effect on what is experienced on the ground. So this Atlantic air that's very wet, and you can see this nice low pressure just building up now, overnight going to come into southern England, bringing more and more rain. That moisture that it picked up off the Atlantic, and you can see it now moving off yeah. towards the coast of Norway, very defined low pressure centre. And a second low pressure system coming from the west into Ireland, just past Ireland, going into the Gulf of Biscay. This particular period, we're starting to see a lot more snow and rain falling in Norway, Sweden, Denmark. So just as the sun comes up this morning, you can just see over Russia a line in the white cloud. And this will reflect as the sun comes um, from the east. You'll be looking uh, where the shadow is, so the, the higher cloud will be on the western side of that boundary, or the higher or thicker cloud. So we have now warm air coming from the south in the centre of Europe going from Italy to the Nordic countries and you can see how the, the cold air is just standing there causing um, severe rain and snowstorms in those countries. And at this particular time Latvia in, experienced a really strong temperature gradient from north to south really marking the boundary between those two air systems. Cold weather starting to really become dominant and when the uh, precipitation isn't coming we quite often experience these low cloud, grey cloud days, sort of anticyclonic gloom as it's uh, known in some countries.